What's up, data people? My name is Matthew Heffron, and today we'll be covering waterfall charts in Metabase. So let's jump right into it. So the first thing we're going to do is go to new question, and we'll go to the orders table. For summarize, pick a metric you want to see. We're going to do a custom expression, and I don't have a good data set for this. So again, just made up some mock data. So I'm going to paste in a case statement. Basically, what we're saying is doohickey, show me 500, gadget, show me negative 200, gizmo, show me 300, widget, show me 100. So this is going to be our, uh, our number, we could call this. We'll hit done. And then pick a column to group by. We're going to go to product, and we will go to category, and then we'll click visualize. Next, we'll go to visualization, and then we can click waterfall. And now you can see this nice little waterfall chart. You have doohickey, there's that 500, there's the negative 200, 300, 100, and then the total here. So let's see the options to edit this. You can come in here, change the color. We have the ellipses. So again, our, our styling that we've been seeing. Display, you can change the colors here for all the options. Um, show total, you can go ahead and shut that off if you wanted to. Axes, shut it off, turn it on, change the names. And that is your waterfall chart. Hopefully this quick overview was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.